everyone. Great to see you again. Cheers. Hope your cups are full of happiness and your glass is full of gratitude today. Are you digging my ambiance? I don't have a wood-burning fireplace, but that is as close as I'm going to get. If you've never checked those things out, they're on YouTube. Cozy ambiance with a fire log. I love those things. Keep it on my TV all the time. Okay, so today's video is for those of you who are looking for acreage in the state of Florida. Now, typically my channel is focused on the areas in and around Venice, Florida and the market of homes. However, many of you as of recent have been asking me to find you listings with manufactured mobile homes that, are, um, that have lower lot rent, that are in land lease communities, you want lower list prices, and many of you are looking for some acreage. So that's what I'm focusing on today. So grab your coffee or your tea and come along with me as we head into the areas of Live Oak and Old Town. Now these areas are about four hours into the east from us here in Venice, Florida, and they're north of Gainesville. It's a very lush landscape, and it's a completely different vibe and environment altogether than what we have on the Gulf Coast here. Beautiful area nonetheless. Um, it was several years ago, my family and I did spend some time on the Suwannee River, and it was an experience we will never forget. The people there, I will tell you, are so kind. Wonderful individuals, very generous, very gracious. They would pull up to this park where we um, spent a lot of our time, right on the Suwannee River, and they would just back up with their huge grills and just prepare just an abundance of food and just share with us, and it was an every weekend occurrence. And even though this was a public park, these were most locals that lived in the area and they were just a wealth of knowledge. We had the best time there and it was just a wonderful experience. And the sturgeon fish that fly up out of that Swanee River and just smack that water as they come back down are just really something to see. It's a sound that you'll never forget. And there was one individual girl, young woman who we met, she was very physically fit. And she would swim across that Swanee River every few days with a machete on her side. That alone was a sight to see. My kids were just jumping out of these very tall uh, tree stands into the Swanee River. We had a beautiful big boat ramp. It was really quite an experience. So I bring this up just for the fact that if you've never considered living inland um, in the South, it's definitely something I want to recommend because it's really a beautiful area. And the people there were just really happy to give as CCR says. So come along with me as we venture up to the areas of Live Oak and Old Town in sunny Florida. So let's go. I'm gonna move this out of the way here. And this would be the Suwannee River area here. So here's the Suwannee River, here's Lake City, here's White Springs, here's Live Oak. And um, now if you wanted to go to the beach, it's about an hour and 20 either way, either to Tallahassee, you can go to Daco Beach, I think that was the closest one, or you could head right over to the other direction and go over to Jacksonville. You could also go to St. Augustine if you wanted. And uh, so yeah, we're going to focus on this area here. You're also not far from Gainesville. That's right here as well. So lots of really cool areas. And there's the Suwannee River. And here is Cedar Key, one of my favorite spots. If you've never visited Cedar Key, that's another place you really need to visit. It's so quaint and such a cool village. So we are gonna focus in on this area here. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove, or just move me over a little bit here, and we're gonna go right over to Realtor because I'm excited to show you this house. This is real estate, you guys. And this could be a cash deal because I'm not sure what's going on. You'll see here when I click on these photographs what's happening. It looks like they bought it to fix it up or started a project and they didn't finish it. So it could be just a cash deal and as is, but it's 105 dollars and it's on more than three acres of beautiful land. So this is a double wide. It's a 2000 model. Looks like it has a nice open plan, vaulted ceiling. It's been on the market just under 50 days. So, you know, this could be a really good buy for someone. Got a nice washer and dryer. Three bedrooms and two full bathrooms on three acres of land. So if you've even considered having a little sustainable farmette, this would fit that bill perfectly fine. And uh, so it does give some a little bit of detail on the property, but not a whole lot. But I will show you that down here, it was bought. It was purchased back in 2020, uh, 2022, just not even a year ago for 50, what's that say? $59,000 and then they put it on the market in the middle of October of this year for 120 and now they just raised the price almost a thousand dollars so I'm not sure maybe it's corporate owned 
Because that sounds like something a bank would do, but sometimes the longer it's on the market, who knows what they're thinking. But um, yeah, so this one is in Old Town. It's listed for $102,999. It's a three bedroom, two bath, and it's a 2000 model on over three acres of land. So there's just one that's in a really cool neck of the woods. Now this was another one. This one is on two acres. This one's got a higher price point, however, but this is a new home. And this one's 215,000. It's on two acres of land. And this one is a, oh no, I'm sorry. This is not the one I thought. This is a 98 model. So this one's a little bit older than the other one just by a couple of years. And this one's got a screened in lanai there. Very nice on two acres, couple of entrances. Beautiful parcel, look at this. That's very nice. Look how pretty this is. So this is 215,000, it's a 98 model, vaulted ceilings, open floor plan. Very, very pretty. Look at the soaker tub. Looks like it has some nice updates, nice size bedroom. Okay, so this is another one. And this again, this one is in Old Town as well. 215,000 and that is a 3-2. Now let's look at the history on this one. And I gotta take my specs off here. It was listed in 2018 for 79.5. They sold it in uh, just a few months later in December for 75,000. And then it was just relisted just today for $215,000. So brand new listing for $215,000 and it sits on two acres of land. Okay, so there's another one in Old Town. And on from that one there, uh, this one has five acres. It sits, states that it's a foreclosure, but let's take a look at this one even though the price is a little higher. This one's $215,000, but five acres. It's a three bedroom, two bath, and it's an 83 model. Uh, says it's five private and semi-wooded fenced and cross fenced area three bedroom, two bath. It's a Fannie Mae home path home. And let's look at the history real quick. Um, it was listed for 97,000 in 2019, sold for 85,000 and then states that the listing was, then it was listed again, removed and then listed again. Um, it says 1130, well, we're not on, oh, just a few days ago, I guess. Duh, we're in, uh, can't forget, we're in December now, right? Okay, so yeah, this one is a three bedroom, two bath with 1,440 square feet on five acres of land in Old Town, and this is an 83 model. So let's take a look. Nice, I love that. Very nice. Wow, look at this. So this is a really good opportunity for somebody out there looking for real estate owned. This is really pretty. I like that. It's very cottage style, farmhouse, shabby chic, all rolled into one. Very pretty. Really like it. So if you guys are looking and you're okay with Old Town, you want to be near the Suwannee, um, this one's at 577 Northeast 2 12th Street or 12th Avenue. And this again is 215000 and it's an Old Town. It's a 1983 model. It's been on the market only for four days. Five acres of land. Nice. Okay, now we are gonna move into Live Oak because I know there are, um, there's another one with some property there that I wanted to show you. Things are moving a little slow. This is the one that I saw in Live Oak. This is $140,000 and this has five acres of land. It doesn't show the interior of the home, but look at that property, wow. Five acres in Live Oak. It's been in the market almost 80 days. This is a 1989 model. It has 1,415 square feet and it's a four bedroom, two bath. Let's just go through and look at the pictures. That, oh my goodness, look at that. And I, I will say that it gets really hot inland. So if you know if you did decide to move in this to this area, I definitely invest in a pool. <laughs> Uh, either above ground or, you know, if you can swing it, definitely dig one and put in and have one installed because it definitely gets hot. This is a handyman special, it says. Investors take notice. Five acres on a paved road and uh, gorgeous sunsets, obviously, as we just saw there. And let's see here. It was sold in 2000 and 
then again in 2007, then it was sold again in 2021, then it was listed in September 20th of this year for 159.9, now they're down to 140. And again, this is a uh, 1989 model for 140,000 with five acres of land. Nice. Okay, moving on from this one. I'm trying to stay under 150 for the moment. Here's another one. This one's 145,000. Look at this. This is a 99 model with 1,512 square feet on over five acres of land. And this is a three bedroom, two bath. Hmm. Fireplace, carpet. Looks like it has the vaulted ceilings. Again, more, oh my gosh, look at that. Oh man, you can hang out and watch the fireflies in your field in the summertime. Oh my goodness, look at this property. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, can you tell? I love it there. Oh my gosh, very, very, very nice. Home needs some work, obviously, but you know, that's all right. You gotta have a little vision, but it's there. Nonetheless, looks like it might have been started on. Look at that property. Okay, so if you're looking for five acres, you want real estate, maybe you want to remove the home or just gut it and start over, $145,000 with five acres of land. Let's look at the history a little bit and see what was happening with this one. Um, in 2015, might have bought, I don't know, this is, hmm, that doesn't make any sense. That's for the property taxes, uh, which it says it was assessed for 52000 So, yeah, sorry, my dog's drinking this out of his bowl. Okay, so that is another one on five acres of land. Nice. This one's pending. That one's on almost three acres, but that's already sold. Um, here's a nice one. This is on a little over an acre. Look at this. This is a little higher in price, but this one is $189.4. This is on 1.11 acres. It's a three bedroom, two bath with 1,728 square feet of space. Very nice. Look at this. Look at these oaks. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Something out of a magazine. Nice front deck. Very pretty. Nice side porch, too. Oh, that's gorgeous. Landscaping is amazing. Does have some fencing. Nice drone view. So it says the boundary is approximate, not an official survey, but that's all right. Very nice. Very pretty. New Goodman AC unit. I don't... Here we go. Not too terrible. You got some vaulted ceilings there. Big kitchen. Nice pass-through. A lot of potential with this one. Look at this. Very nice. Okay, so this one's on 89th Road. And this, again, is in Live Oak. And that's 189.4, and it's been on the market only 11 days, and that's a 91 model. 1.11 acres. Very nice. Okay, we have a lot of contingencies. These homes are starting to sell. This one is on 40 acres. This is $365,000. 40 acres. And two bedroom, two bath. This is a 1996 model, and it's been on the market 211 days. Let's see if it shows us anything at all. Um, yeah, this is a single with a separate storage area. Wow, that is wide, wide open spaces, this one. Round bales for the storage, so it's got a pole building or a barn. Very nice. Yeah, that's the pole building there. So if you're looking for a farm, oh, it even comes with its own cool tractor. Okay, so you've got some potential with this one. And let's go back and see. I can't remember what it said for the... So two bedroom, two bath, and this is a 96 model with just under 1,000 square feet of space with 40 acres for $365,000. And that, again, is in Live Oak. Wow. So if you want some acreage, you guys, this is definitely the area to be looking in. This one's 210 with six acres. This was 350 for five acres. An acre and a half for 149.9. Almost four acres for 234.9. 
another five acre for two eighty nine. You've got a quarter of an acre for sixty thousand dollars for this little home. Then you've got another one here on almost three acres for one fifty four nine. This is a ninety five model. It's been on the market just a couple of weeks. Let's see if they show us this one here. Almost three acres of land. Yeah, this one looks like it's going to need some work. You're out in the middle of nowhere with this one, folks. Looks very nice. Very pretty setting. Let's go back to the history on this one. And was price was just reduced. Motivated seller due to a divorce. It's so right around the corner from the Sewanee Airport. And let's see. Yeah, it was just listed for 169 earlier last or this in the middle of this past November. And it just had a price change. So yeah. Motivated seller 154.9 on almost three acres of and land in Live Oak. And let's see what else we got here. Anything else that this one's almost this one caught my eye too because this one's on five acres and this is new construction for just under 300,000. This is a 2023 model on five acres for 298. So if you're looking for a brand new home, maybe this would suit your needs. That's very nice. Got a little front gate there. 2023 model for just under 300,000, brand new home. Brand new home, very nice. Does have some carpet, has a lot of gray interior. Very, very nice. So there you have it. It's another new home, brand new 2023. And this again is in Live Oak and that's listed for 298,000 on just a little over five acres of land. We'll look at one more here. This one's on two acres. This one's on nine acres for 350,000. And then they just go up in price from there. So if you wanna go into 300,000 range, this one's got 10 acres for 210,000. Yeah, and the other ones are contingent. So there is the area of Live Oak near the Suwannee River and a lot of real estate to be had up there. Wide open spaces, beautiful properties. And uh, so if you've ever dreamt of having a farm or maybe want to raise some chickens and go outside and gather your own fresh eggs every day, uh, that would definitely be something that you could do there. And uh, so, yeah, that's Live Oak in Old Town for you in just about four hours from the gorgeous Gulf Coast. It's great to see everybody. Hope you're having a great day. Keep those cups full of happiness and your glass full of gratitude. Let me know if I can help you with any of these. And meanwhile, have a great day. Stay safe, stay aware, definitely stay tuned. And as always, you're always welcome to subscribe to my channel. It's good to see you guys.